So you've been diagnosed with an actinic keratosis by your local dermatologist, and there are a lot of different treatment options for actinic keratosis. But the first thing we need to do is educate you on what an actinic keratosis actually is. So to use our little model here, an actinic keratosis is a collection of atypical cells called keratinocytes that are in the top portion of your skin, or the epidermis. Now by definition, an actinic keratosis does not have atypical keratinocytes that go all the way through the surface of the epidermis. They're just partial thickness atypical cells. Once those atypical cells become full thickness, so all the way through the epidermis, then we call it a squamous cell cancer in situ or in the surface. So these actinic keratoses, or these atypical keratinocytes, they have about a 10% chance of turning into a squamous cell cancer over about 10 years. So if you just have one or two of these actinic keratoses in an area like your face, then we usually use a treatment modality called liquid nitrogen or cryosurgery. And you can see the video down below on what that entails. Now, when you have lots of actinic keratoses in an area, then we become more and more concerned for your chances of developing a squamous cell cancer or other types of cancer in that area over the future. So when you have lots of these pre-cancers or these actinic keratoses in an area, we oftentimes recommend a treatment for the entire area to help decrease the risk of you growing skin cancers in that area in the future. And down below, you'll see some links for different areas where we treat the entire field. Now, actinic keratoses, just like non-melanoma skin cancers, as well as melanoma skin cancers, are the result of long-term exposure to ultraviolet light, as well as your own individual mix of how you respond to that light. In other words, do you get burned very easily or not so easily? Have you spent a lifetime in the sun or tanning beds or had very little exposure? And the more of these precancers you get, the more concerned we are that you'll develop not only more precancers in the future, but also more cancers. So please look at the prevention videos that are linked down below so that you can get an idea of how to prevent these. Please look at the treatment videos down below so that when your local dermatologist recommends a treatment for you, you understand why they're recommending what they are and now you are educated. Because fact is, an educated patient is the best patient.